Hi guys, welcome back to Sadler Up Nails. I'm going to show you how I did these gorgeous holographic um, gradient nails. One is like a rainbow gradient and then the other one is more of a sunset gradient. So first we have to prep our nails. You know that I use soft gel, um, a prey gel X nails. So the only thing I use to prep is Young Nails Protein Bond. Um, because these gels are soft gel and we will be applying gel to them, uh, gel does stick to gel. We just have to apply a little um, sticky base layer and that is what our protein bond is. Next, we are going to be using Bio Seaweed Gels Peaches. This is a three-step gel, which means it has a dispersion layer, uh, which is very important in this design because we are going to be using neon pigments and they are going to stick to the dispersion layer. Now, the reason I use a beige polish instead of a white is because I just find that pigments blend better over a beige um, Whereas over a pure white base, your pigments can sometimes look blotchy, especially where the two colors start to blend together. So I just prefer to put them over more of an ivory or a beige base versus a pure white. However, you can go ahead and put it over the pure white base. Do what you want. Now, I did put two coats of polish um, I did not film me doing the second coat because I find that redundant. Um, I think uh, you get the point here, right? <laughs> um, so I just went over all the nails one last time because I found that the polish was separating a bit, um, which is annoying. Um, so yeah, so here we go. This is with our second coat of polish, and now we are going to first do the rainbow gradient so like i said i am using neon pigments these are from daily charm um you can get them from a lot of nail art supply stores however daily charm sells the neon ones in like a combo pack and that is what i purchased and these are going to last me forever i don't think i will ever have to uh purchase these neon pigments again so I do prefer to use an eyeshadow makeup brush for applying these pigments. And I do always start with the lightest color, um, obviously, because you don't want a dark color um, mixing in with your light color. So always start with the lightest color first and then work your way into the darkest color. So I am going to be doing green. Well, okay, we're going to wipe it off onto a cotton pad and then I'm coming in with green next because that is the next lightest color. So I flip the nails over because the green goes on the cuticle part of the nail and we're just going to go over all the nails like we did with the pink. I do want to add these pigments are very messy, like extremely messy. I always put down a piece of paper um, on my desk that I then just you just toss it out after like it, it becomes a complete mess. Obviously, you can do your gradient of colors with gel um, or acrylic. I always go for the easiest method. And for me, that is pigments. Um, I mean, I, I can ombre gel. I do not like to ombre gel. I do not like to spend 20 minutes per nail trying to ombre gel. Um, so yeah, that's why I prefer the pigments. One day I will probably invest in an airbrush. Um, but for now, this will do. The blue and the purple are by far the messiest colors and the darkest and you have to be very careful working with these two um, not to blend it too much into your light color or else you're completely screwed over so as you can see here I am being very careful with this purple and I am brushing it back up into the blue versus downwards into the pink because I don't want to turn that pink into a gross um, brown. Also, if you can't get your hands on pigments, um, go to the dollar store and just use some cheap eyeshadow. Like I used to do that. You know, like the cheap, really bright 
eyeshadows um, for kids. Yeah, just get those, scrape them up into a powder, and just use that. It's the same thing, guys. It's actually probably better because those might even be cosmetic grade, and I'm pretty sure this stuff is just from China. So, I mean, you got options. Okay, so after I'm done applying the pigments with the brush, I do like to go over with a clean finger just to press all that pigment down because um, if there is like any loose uh, pigment that you brush over with your top coat, you might end up spreading that over the rest of the colors and um, then it just looks all streaky and it doesn't look good. So you do wanna just get any excess off with your finger and then you're going to come in with your no wipe top coat. It is very important that you do use a no wipe because we are going to be coming in with our holographic unicorn powder next. And I am using Ugly Ducklings No Wipe Top Coat. I do always have an extra one that I use just for pigments. Um, and then I keep a separate one that is clean for um, nails that obviously don't have any pigments or glitter on them. So before we do the holographic, I'm going to show you how I do the sunset ombre. So for this one, I am starting off with an orange neon pigment and that is going down at the tip and it is the exact same application. We're just dipping our cleaned off brush into the pigments and applying it to the dispersion layer. I always end up giving myself ideas when I talk during these videos. I'm going to uh, go through my eyeshadow collection and see what I can use for nail art now because let's face it, I ain't going nowhere and I don't wear makeup no more. Next, we're coming in with the pink. I love pink and orange together. I think they're so beautiful. And then we're coming in with the blue at the cuticle because lastly is going to be the devil purple. I really actually hate that purple. It's so dark and I've it's made it's made quite a mess, I'm telling you. I really wish it was more of a pastel purple, which like I really need to go through my eyeshadows now. Maybe if you um know any nail art supply stores that do sell uh these pigments, comment them down below and help each other out. Let's share. Let's share our secrets, guys. Because let's face it, there's no secrets. This design is also very forgiving um, because we do go over it with that holographic powder. So, I mean, don't get like, don't get too worried about your blend, not, you know, looking smooth and things like that because like we're going to be covering it with the unicorn powder and it's really not that big of a deal. So we're coming in with our no wipe top coat first and then we are using the holographic unicorn powder which is also from daily charm and when you just look at it like it just looks like this chalky gray powder and then it it just turns into magic so what i like to do is i flip it over so i get the powder onto the lid and then let it settle because this powder is extremely fine and it will come out like like a burst of smoke almost into the air and you probably don't want to breathe that in so just let it settle and uh, then I just use my finger on the lid and I just pick up the tiniest amount and I brush it over it I fully cure the top coat I don't half cure I do a the full one minute cure uh, that ugly duckling requires and it sticks like a dream you can use an eyeshadow applicator or a makeup sponge or even uh, a beauty blender. Actually, they work excellent for applying chrome powders. Uh, I do, though, I just prefer my finger. Uh, it's free. I don't have to pay anything for that. Um, I just wash it off after. I, I don't know, guys. Like, it gives you the best shine. Just use your finger. So that is the rainbow gradient with the holographic powder over top and now we are going to do the sunset i'm not sure which one i like best um so far the sunset gradient has been a better seller um on my website but i just i really like how the green uh shows through on the holographic what do you guys think let me know now this holographic powder is extremely extremely pigmented 
Um, if you want that color to show through, you don't want to go in with a second layer of it. Uh, you just want to do the one layer and you're good. If you do go in with a second layer of that chrome powder, you're going to lose your color. It's just going to be hollow. That's all it's going to be. It's going to be like a silver hollow. Like, just trust me, don't do it. So now I'm just doing my final layer of top coat, which is again, the ugly duckling, no wipe. And I only do one layer of top coat over it. I have never, ever, ever had a problem with chipping, like with myself, with a customer, never. Okay. Um, I would say it's because of the gel X nails. And the fact that they're not plastic, um, but you can say whatever. Anyways, so there it is. Um, easy, very easy hollow gradient.